All right, so we um, are about to get started on Tyler's carbon fiber lip spoiler. Do a little install video, but first and foremost, before we put it on, we're gonna give the Jetta a nice wash, get it nice and clean. Um, it's installed with 3M tape, so we wanna get all of the uh, nasty stuff off. Yeah, Let's see it. Oh, wait, I haven't even seen it. Get in the sun. Look at Hold on. It looks good, boys. Looks really good. So it's it's put on with just 3M tape, as you can see. There are mounting holes, but I'm not going to drill the trunk right now. Not right now. So we are going to get this all washed up and ready for the wing. And then... We'll throw it on. So the back of Tyler's car will have a carbon fiber diffuser and a carbon fiber um, lip spoiler. I think so it's gonna the, look really good. The carbon fiber bits are only halfway done, boys. Halfway. Halfway, maybe even 25% uh, of the way. You yeah, never know. Yeah, you can say that. You never know. Um, so yeah, we will get this thing cleaned up and see you back for the install. All right, before we get it clean, we're gonna do a little mock-up just to, we're gonna cheat. Just to see what uh, what it's looking like here. Oh. Damn, it's bright out here. It is nice out today. Hopefully that doesn't fall. Dude. <laughs> That's gonna look sick. It is looking good. And with the carbon fiber diffuser. It just goes together. It just goes so well. Let's see if we can get in here. Actually, the sun is really blasting us. Yeah, boy. We'll get a better shot in the garage, but that's gonna look really good. Should be relatively easy too. We'll clean it up. We'll, um, I don't know how many times we said we're gonna clean this up, but we trust me, this will be clean. You don't have to worry about that. Um, and that'll be an easy mod. And we deserve an easy mod. We really do. Yeah. Because the past, what, like, three weeks or so have been madness, madness, madness. Um, expensive, <laughs> stressful. Um, cars look good, but we're, uh, we're definitely ready for an easier install. So looking forward to this one, boys. Changing what you look at different guy. I can't stop thinking about you since last night. Do you feel the same? Feel the same? Feel the same? Feel the same? Imagine if we did did fine. Yeah, I feel like we could be so tight. We can fix it's gonna be alright. Do you feel me, baby? Feel me, baby? Feel me, baby? Look in my eyes, into my
All right, guys, so just cleaned the car. Everything's looking really nice. Um, so what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be doing the install on the spoiler. So um, again, this is just a carbon fiber lip spoiler. I bought it from ECS Tuning. Um, it's actually pretty, it's priced pretty well. I think it's between like 200 and $300, uh, which is not bad for a carbon fiber piece, to be honest with you. And it's really gonna add a lot more aggressive look to the back of the car, which I'm really happy about. It pairs really well with the diffuser. So I'm kind of excited to see it on. Um, we did a little mock-up with the car dirty. So now I'm just gonna put it on real light for you guys so you can kind of see what it's gonna look like when we're done with it. And that is the idea right there. And we'll show you like side profile and everything like that, get a couple of shots, but it looks really, really good on there. I think the method of attack here is what we're gonna do. So I don't know if you can, you can see this, it has the 3M strips all the way through and there's actually two little mounting holes. We, again, we are not going to be doing any mounting with hardware today. Um, if it falls off on the highway and I have to buy a new one, then yes, we will definitely buy another <laughs> one and have to do mounting because I don't want to keep buying spoilers. But um, yeah, so I think the plan of attack is we're probably going to like peel off half the stripping here, um, check the fitment on it, and then as long as the fitment is good, then uh, peel off the uh, other half and just we'll go from there. Something that I overlooked in the beginning that I'm excited to see is... Um, not only is it gonna make the back of his car look really nice and aggressive, especially with the rear diffuser, but what I'm excited to see is the side profile. Yes. Now that you're lowered and you're gonna get a little bit of extra kick, it's gonna give the profile um, some zest. I think your exhaust and your diffuser already gave it a little bit, mm -hmm. but after you get this, um, this spoiler on, I think it's really gonna help the profile of the car. Yes. And we were talking off camera, but his back is going to be looking, his ass is going to be looking really <laughs> Very nice, aggressive. nice and tight. Um, and his, the side profile is kind of getting where it needs to be. Um, but the and, front is the very front, pedestrian right yeah, now. The front is what's lacking. So, But with that being said, um, there will be more carbon fiber bits coming for the front. I promise you guys that. That and, is one thing I can promise. Yeah, and once the front... Um, situation is dealt with and we get some wheels on here this car is going to be i'm i mean if we like the before and after of this car is going to be insane it is going to look stupid good i'm, I'm really excited because like i said guys i mean we've been saying it for a long time this is just one of those cars that is very pedestrian but if you got it mod it and i got it so i'm modding it so i'm really happy with number one the results with such little upgrades that we've done already but it is nowhere near where it needs to be um, and so I'm really excited for you guys to see what comes in the future. Like once we get wheels a little more loud, maybe some more power action, it's going to be really fun. But just Which I think is the cool part about having this car versus my car is like my car comes so aggressive and the mods are like subtle to the naked yes. eye. Yes. But yes. this car is like a very night and day before and after, which is cool to Every see. Every little thing you add to this car makes a huge difference. Yes. Like, it, like I was riding around with just the exhaust on for a while and then we went low and it just, it changed the game entirely. Like people, like I said, people before, like once you go low, they kind of know you're modded, they can see it. So people are like, oh dude, it looks really good. Like people at work are noticing, people on the highway want to play with you. So I'm really happy about it. And one of the reasons why I actually went carbon fiber instead of like ABS or there's ABS and they're, they sell, I think three different variations of this stuff on ECS. Um, but the carbon fiber obviously looks the most aggressive. I, I just love the carbon fiber look in general. Um, but not only that, um, it's also higher quality. So some of the reviews that I saw for, for instance, the carbon fiber diffu or the diffuser, and also splitter and spoiler specifically is some people were saying that the ABS felt cheap, it performed cheap, and when they put it on, they kind of had like fitment issues and over time, um, it kind of not necessarily fell apart. Yeah, rock chips, bro. Not necessarily uh, fell apart, but um, it just wasn't as quality. So 
everybody who got the ABS plastic or the other version, I'm not sure, I think it's just a painted version, um, they all actually took it off and upgraded to the carbon fiber version. And that has positive reviews across the board. So, and I'm not worried about the tape holding because no, 3M tape is, I mean, solid. That's really solid. Like 3M tape is on there. When it's yeah. on there, it's on there. So I think it's going to be perfect to be honest with you. I'm really excited to see how it looks. So let's get I think to we it. Get to it. So I'll like peel back half, literally not even half, like just a corner. Okay. Yeah. Enough so that you have something to hold on to. Yeah, I'm down. Let me uh, turn my back so you can see what I'm doing. I, my pro or the approach that I think we're gonna do is peel a little so you have this tab sticking out. Yep. So okay. that when we have the placement we want, we can leave it where it is and just peel this and press. So I think that is the move. I will be the. Uh, I think, it, dude, this is gonna look stupid. No, I'm excited. This is. <sighs> but Easy it just money. makes me immediately want to go home and buy more carbon fiber. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Side skirt splitter. Boom. All right. So let's. Uh, so make sure this red. Can you we got. Like flap the red out? So. Yeah. So I know it. It pretty much has to be exactly flush with this edge. Like here, don't stick this part back. Like, see what I'm talking about? If you like model with the it trunk? on this side. Yeah. If you model it on this side, it's gonna be. It's like nearly a perfect fit. So let's see if you just go down a little bit. That is right on there right now. So how's it look on your side? There's like barely any gap. There's a little bigger of a gap over here. Right there. Right there. So I'm gonna hold it down while you peel. Hmm. I'll give you a little <laughs> yeah, I think I need to give you. Can you get the up? Yep. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. So easy does it. And then the press seal. Let's see what it looks like over here. How you feeling? Just want to make sure it's on there. Should we open? Yeah. How's it look? I don't like that pop and noise. It's, it's just the sticky on this side is not set yet. I need to shut this. I think we just need to hold it and let it kind of set. So we were hearing like some popping and cracking. You might've been able to hear it in the mic. Yeah. And it was just, um, this side kept like kind of popping up when we were letting it go. But I think so we just kind of curing. push and hold and let it kind of do its thing, bond to the existing material. This is why it's really important to. And you do want to make sure when you're doing stuff like this, especially with tape, that you do clean and dry the surface yep. perfectly. Otherwise it's, it's useless. I mean, yeah, I mean, this looks pretty much exactly like there's a little bit of come up on this side, a little bit of come up on that side. I think it's perfect. I think that's as good as it gets right there. That's money, baby. Yeah, baby. Big reveal. Oh my God, dude, look at the profile. Yeah. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> that is hot. The back of the car looks so oh, good right now. Let's Seriously, get the profile. so good. Yeah, yeah, let's see that bad boy. It adds a whole nother level of aggression that you just... Yeah, let me lower you guys down a little bit. Don't even know about. Yeah, this profile just looks so good. More carbon fiber. <laughs> more. More, more, more. Oh, no, yeah. guys, but seriously, this is sick. I mean, it looks good from all angles. I think, I mean, even just like an upward shot of right here, just the extended body line, because I don't know if you guys could kind of tell before and you can kind of see right here but there is already a little bit of a lip that goes into the trunk. So it, it fits the body line perfectly. It just kind of exacerbates that look and it's phenomenal. I mean, that is clean cut. And I think the carbon fiber was definitely the move on this without a doubt. Oh yeah. It's looking so good. And just to match the diffuser as well, I mean, you can't beat that, boys. You can't beat that. That is fresh. 
Yes, and also one thing that I always said like looks so good about Evan's car is his side profile of his car because he does have like a aggressive looking rear with the um, uh, ducktail spoiler. I believe you said that's only on the premium versions, yep. right? And so I always like, I love that look, like just extending the natural body line. Um, Cause obviously anything else on this car, like you can't just put a big spoiler. It would look so stupid. So I think just extending the normal body lines on this car and adding carbon fiber bits, even black bits, just, just looks so good. It just really, it just really chef's kiss. Like that's really what the best way I can describe it is just. <laughs> The approach you took, I, and I think this is a good lesson for anyone that's like thinking about buying their car but hasn't. Um, sometimes it is the little things. It like is. Tyler was just saying, like a big wing, like yes, you may see that on, I don't know, some like JDM car and like you have your Jetta and you think that's what you want, but sometimes the little things and playing to your, to your hand is, does so much more than something that looks tacky and pep boysy. Yes, and I also like to capitalize on that. I mean, that's kind of what I'm going for on all my body mods on this car. Um, obviously, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, I have found a wide body kit for this car, which that's gonna have to be a later situation. But for right now, we have I have at least three more pieces of carbon fiber that I wanna add to this car as a whole. And like I said, like Evan was saying, it's just small extensions of the body line, nothing too big. I mean, another thing with German cars is like, you can't really get a big spoiler or anything like that. It just does not fit the profile. But I think you guys are gonna be really happy once we start getting the other bits put in and kind of compare it to the back and then just see how the whole, not only the side profile looks good, the rear profile, but also the front as well. It's just gonna really, bring everything together. One aspect though that really makes all of this stand out too, and I'm happy I did, is going low first. Because I'm not saying it would look bad, because I, I again, I can't hate on carbon fiber, just the overall look of these bits that I bought, but going low just adds a whole nother level of aesthetic whenever you get any body piece put on wheels, um, exhaust, any, you know, diffuser, side skirts, anything like that. You're going to love your car so much more, number one, if you just go lower, but also when you start adding, you know, little things like this, it just, it's, it looks 10 times better low. Right. And I think that is really important to know too, especially if you have never modded a car. Uh, it's not like Tyler's saying to lower your car, take care of the exhaust, like the, the big things first, it really does. Um, accentuate the little mods and makes them look way better. It gives it, it gives you a better idea of the overall image that you're trying to get to. So I think Tyler did it. I think this is perfect nicely. the way it's going right now, to be honest with you. Like I'm very satisfied of where my build is at currently. And I'm actually, I mean like stuff like this, little stuff like this makes me really excited uh, to kind of continue this look. Cause like I said, I have a vision in my head of what I'm going to accomplish. I think you guys are going to be very happy to see it as well. So if you have a Jetta, I would definitely recommend going e uh, ECS tuning for this stuff. Um, I know you can get some stuff off of Euro tuning or like modded Euros and stuff like that. Uh, but these are the bits that appeal to me the most. And I think they're reasonably priced. And they've always been pretty quick on shipping as well. I know other people have had some other experience with ECS. I've never had a bad experience. So 10 out of 10, definitely recommend both of these, but definitely the spoiler. And I definitely recommend going ECS tuning for this because they killed it on the design for sure. What I really like about these bits is it actually makes it more like an Audi-esque look to the, to the car. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen like the RS lines or the S lines, but a lot of times they come with different trim pieces. Uh, it's very subtle things and a lot of times they're even black painted, which is why I wanted to go with the blacker carbon fiber look. Um, but it just makes it look more aggressive, more sporty. It makes it look a little more expensive too. Um, obviously, if you guys watch our old videos, you're going to be able to see a big difference in the change of just the overall profile of the car. But a carbon fiber, 
Uh, the carbon fiber adds a nice touch in terms of, like I said, it makes it look expensive, it makes it look sporty, and to be honest with you, the Audi boys are going to be hurting about this one. <laughs> the Audi boys are going to be hurting because the Jetta is clean. Volkswagen is cool, guys. So, I, again, I would highly recommend this to anybody. Um, and I think you guys are going to be really excited to see the other little bits we have because um, we've kind of decided, or I've decided in my head as of right now, there's going to be a lot of small stuff that we're going to be adding to this car that you probably wouldn't notice right now. Um, but you're going to notice a huge difference once it's done. So we have big plans uh, for small things. Again, this, pieces like this are, are gonna be a little bit more expensive, but you can always do things like blacking out trim, uh, little tint jobs that really add a big difference. A lot of people like to tint the taillights. Personally, mine are kind of smoky from the factory, which I really like, and I, and I kind of like how it looks uh, against the gray. I really like my paint color. And I think the carbon fiber also really stands out on this color as well. Uh, I've seen people online that have like a red color, or blue color Jettas, and it still looks good, don't get me wrong. But I really like just like the clean look of just having this kind of, uh, not necessarily a sleeper build is what I would call it. I but... think it looks luxury. Like I like right. your color because I'm not a big silver car guy and usually I'm a, I mean, obviously I'm a bright color guy, but for, that's why it's like play to your build strengths because yes. I mean, you know, my car, loud color, it's loud hot boy car, it's hot boy. This, well, I mean, this is going to be hot boy in its own regard, but right. it just is more like classy and elegant. And I don't know, it just looks more luxury. So getting mods that support that look is really key, which I think you've done a great job with uh, this rear end specifically. I think you guys like are gonna be very shocked to see the progression over the next couple of weeks because after seeing this, I think I've officially decided in my head that uh, in the next two weeks, there will be more carbon fiber bits ordered. <laughs> but it's just something that needs to be done uh, before we go into larger mods is what I should say. Um, Cause for right now, I'm really happy with the performance that I have and I kind of want to get the aesthetics of the car up to speed. So I think in my head right now, I have six good ideas of things. Two of them, well, one of them was this. I have another one that's already here. Uh, it's a very small thing, but again, I have four other things on top of that that I need to buy and they're really not expensive. Um, so, and they're gonna add a lot to the car. So why don't so, you go ahead and like and subscribe so you get yes. notified when we post a video. Ring the bell so that um, the notification bell, which basically just gives you an alert on your phone when you get, uh, when we post a video. So you can keep up with this build that Tyler is uh, creating week by week. I think it's progressing really fast. I mean, what, like a month ago, this was bone stock. We're, well, that's what I'm saying. This is progressing way faster than I thought it was, which is another problem. It's a good problem to have. At the same time, it's bad for your bank account. Definitely come check out the channel because I can tell you firsthand, I am satisfied and I hope you guys are satisfied as well. Tyler will drain his bank account so you don't have to. Yes, guys, you don't worry, okay? You you just don't even worry. You, you want a dollar? I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> you want a dollar? Give me a dollar, I'll give you two tomorrow. Give me a dollar, that. come on. Let me hold a dollar. Yeah, come on, man. Give, give me something for this, guys, come seriously. On. It looks good. But all in all, guys, uh, again, if you like this video or you like the part, you know, Watch the other videos we have. Uh, we have how many more videos to add to the channel? I think we have I something like- I think we have like, a month's worth of videos yeah. just sitting on we right now. Yeah, so all in all, you guys are not gonna be lacking on content, whether it's the Jetta or the uh, GR86. Uh, I think we're definitely doing it right. And like I said, we started from nothing. So- Started from we, the bottom, now we're here. We started from <laughs> the bottom and now we're somewhere near here, but, but either way. So I think you guys are going to be happy. Check it out. Peace.